Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to do like a first impressions review video of Cycle Bar. I kind of want to just give you a video on like what to expect for your first ride because I recently had my first ride um, and I just jotted down some notes. So I just wanted to talk about what my experience was like. If you guys are new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram because because it would mean the world to me. So starting off, if you don't wanna watch the entire video, my first impression is that I really, really liked it. It was really fun and my instructor was really, really cool and nice and she just seemed to have like a really good time while teaching. So A plus, I really liked the environment, the vibe, everything. And you guys know I'm pretty brutally honest. So I am genuinely saying that my ride was free because it was like my first class, but even if it wasn't free, like I would consider like doing drop-in classes or whatnot, like in the future. So I'm just gonna go down my little list here on my phone and tell you kind of the ideas and things that stood out to me and everything right after the class. This is a kind of like a side note, but I was a little hungover because the night before we went to this like really big party and stuff, but this has nothing to do with like my physical like being during it. It was just like general things. So the first thing I jotted down was love the instructor. And I already said that she was really like inspired inspiring and like she was like if you're holding on to something like this is time to like let it out and just like forget about it and we're working on ourselves like oh I just really enjoyed that part of it and I was just like yes and it like got me pumped up and everything and then I love the atmosphere so the atmosphere I took some clips so I'll overlay that uh, but the environment it was kind of like dark um they turned down the lights and then there was like a bunch of like red and just the atmosphere was really cool and it was like super air conditioned. So when you get really sweaty, um, it feels nice, but it was a very dark room. And, um, but then she would like turn on the lights, overhead lights a little bit. It was just like the environment was super cool and it was really different. Like it's hard to describe, but it was like a dark room and you're like cycling and there's like red around the room kind of, which is cool. You have to be really good at core coordination. Um, I sometimes struggle with that, to be honest. So if you're doing like an arm workout, your legs still have to kind of be pedaling. With time, you get better at it, but I did have a hard time with that, to be honest. Um, but it's nothing that you can't do. It's just really weird because I'm like, okay, I'm like focusing on my arms, but I also have to be doing this motion with my legs. And it's just kind of interesting. It's very different. So just know that. So I wish they'd like explain the numbers on the screen better and like that you could turn the little wheel for like resistance a lot more than just like 90 degrees. Cause like, I don't know, I didn't like turn the wheel a lot. So I just had some trouble with that. So I wish they'd like explain that better. Cause I was like a little lost with that. We cut the time a little close. So maybe like that was the reason why. So it's nobody's fault, but it's just like, I don't know. The numbers kind of like did confuse me <laughs> if I'm being honest. I loved the weights. So they had these like bars. One weighed four pounds and then the other weighed, um, I think six. And I did try to use the six one just because I typically use an eight pound weight at home, but I'm kind of glad that it was only six pounds because I could barely do that and like try to focus on the pedaling and like doing the arms. And I thought I was gonna fall off the bike, but you're like, your shoes are like attached to the pedals. And again, I will do some overlay so you can kind of understand what I'm saying. Yeah, your feet are like actually attached. Like there's no moving, like there's no, like if you were to fall off, like I don't really think you could fall off, but like you feel like you could, if you know what I mean. But um, I did have like some trouble with that at the beginning of like with the weights and stuff. And then my arms were just like shaking and I like put my arms down sometimes and it's just like, oh my gosh. So it was just a little difficult for me. Okay, so this was like not the girl's fault because again, we were kind of rushed. But the thing is like, since it was my first class, like no one really, I mean, I wouldn't expect the girl to like know my height for the seat. But I feel like my seat was a little too high because like my butt kept hitting 
the seat when we had to like stand and do the motions. So that was very interesting. And I think now I know like I would just do the seat and everything like by myself because like I'm more familiar with it now. Um, but yeah, my seat was definitely too high because I was looking at other people and their butts weren't hitting the thing. So I was like, oops, it was just a little, it was a little hard. I did love the shoes. I put love the shoes, um, I guess. I just like the fact that they are like bolted in so your foot isn't like moving all around the pedal. And sometimes I felt like, and I think it was because I had too little resistance. I felt like I was losing control of the bike. And if that happened and my shoe wasn't like attached to the thing, we would have had like some chaos. So I did like the shoes and everything. So because I was new, I feel like this is something that you would obviously just get used to again. And that is my butt hurt so bad. So when I was like, doing the bike and everything and she was like okay you can go on the saddle now i was like okay so i'm like on the saddle and then like it's still a little sore but like my crotch is just sore just in general i don't know but over time you get used to it and everything and at towards the end of the class is when it started getting sore so like during the arm thing i was like oh i just want to stand up again because like my crotch is hurting so bad um i think just with time it would get better and everything um and you would get used to it you would get used to like sitting on that sort of saddle and then i want to talk about the numbers on the screen so i think i don't know this for a fact but i think it's like calculated by like your resistance so the power no it's not the power i don't know it's just this like one little bottom number on the screen and if it's higher then that means your resistance is higher obviously and it's harder to like pedal and everything so the higher that is like it's easier for you to rank higher on or in the class and i don't know i just find it kind of weird but there's different like styles because i know my friend she loves like seeing the metrics and seeing the numbers and everything which is really good for some people because it really does challenge you in a sense but for me like i don't really feel like it's my jam because as long as like i am having fun and everything it's fine for me it was kind of like funny because I did come in like second to last place and I'm like oh god that's embarrassing but it's fine it's all like learning and stuff again if I had understood the numbers more I would probably have like tried to try more I guess but the good thing was the trainer she was like um, I wouldn't have guessed this is your first class. So that was also good. Just like the numbers and metrics. I mean, again, when I, even when I went to Orange Theory, like I didn't really care that much. I feel like the old lady was like beating me on the treadmill when we had to like run. I'm like, how is this happening? But then again, you know, I'm just not really good with machinery and stuff. Half the time I don't know what I'm doing. So I think it's more me. But overall, the environment, the people, the class itself, and when I was going to bed, I was like, I want to like pedal more, you know, it's just that type of thing. So I did hear and I kind of want to try a soul cycle class um, just because I would want to compare the two just for reference. But I think I've heard that they don't have like the screen or the metrics, which would be interesting just because like for me, that's just not a big deal. So I don't know. Let me know down below what you think of Cycle Bar, if you've tried a class or if you wanna try a class because I definitely think you should. Overall, I was really impressed and I enjoyed my experience and I would totally do it again. Think I would do better if I was like not hungover. And now I've already had my first class so I kinda know what to expect. Also too, I love that they provide you a towel and a water bottle like holder thing very nice but anyway yeah that's pretty much it for my video i'm so behind i'm literally filming this on the day it's going up i need to work out and i need to eat so yeah hope you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye